Carl, off the back of last week's win and, and good performance, how's the boys' training week gone so far? Yeah, it's been excellent. Um, the last three, four weeks, um, the training and and the enthusiasm of the playing group has been has been excellent, and that's what wins does to a playing group. Almost the halfway point in the season, just approaching it now. How do you assess the season so far and, and where the team's at, and how much improvement do you think they've got in? Yeah, we've still got a long way to go. Um, you know, we, we've been still a little bit inconsistent. Even you know, last week there was there was patches in the game where we needed to be better. Um, so there's still a long way to go. The playing group know that, um, but um, you know, very happy of where we where we sit at the moment. Played Newcastle only a couple of weeks ago. Um, chances for both sides to win that game. What did you learn from that game to take them in this one? Yeah, look, it's um, they're a difficult side. All, all teams are difficult, and it's shown over the course of the season that you got to turn up and, and play at your best to win. And no difference tomorrow night. We have to turn up. Um, it could be difficult conditions, and we have to work hard and then allow our um, quality in the front third to come through. The away form was a bit of a problem, but in the last few trips has been really positive. What have you changed in the last couple of weeks to, to turn those results around? Yeah, look, we've um, made a, a more of a conscious e effort on being more proactive with our, our pressing higher up, especially away from home, um, and just to be more proactive in what we do when we have the ball as well. In terms of injuries, can you give us an update on Tommy? Is, is it groin? Is it calf? Um, no, no, there's no injury. Um, it's just um, his body just can't um, deal with the demands of training at the moment. Um, he doesn't actually have any strains or anything like that. He just has some tightness that we just can't get on top of. We've, we're trying a lot of different things to try and find a solution and um, hopefully next week he can um, get back on the training pack. Is, is it just a risk management thing then? Is it a, a case that you don't want to put him out there if he's not feeling 100% and then you lose him long term? Yeah, the, most definitely. Um, you know, Tommy is you know very professional with the way he goes about things, and he's just his body's just not right at the moment. And until he feels comfortable with himself, um, then you know we just have to take our time with it. And because when when he goes when he comes back on, I don't want him to to miss any more games. The other one is um, obviously James Delianoff missed with that hamstring, I think it is. Where's he at and have you expected him to be out for long term? Yeah, look, James will be four to five weeks. Um, he's done some tendon um, damage to his hamstring, so, um, you know, that's, uh, again, we won't risk him. Um, you know, I thought Joe did exceptionally well last week, so, um, you know, we'll take time for James to get back and, and fit for when he comes back. Any other injury concerns? Obviously, Ryan Kiddo still not. 100%. Yeah, yeah. Ryan is like two weeks away. Um, he's coming. He's working hard. Um, same as Mohammed. Mohammed's looking well as well. So he's still another three or four weeks away. Um, can you explain the tactical change last week with um, Joe going out and and Gauchi, uh, Sorry, Cavallo coming in. Yeah. Look, we as I said, um, the last few away games we wanted to be more proactive, and Josh is a more of an attacking player. So we wanted to be more attacking, and so that's as simple as that. Um, Joe is more of our defensive midfielder, and we wanted to um, play with more two attacking uh, midfield players. We see the girls out here training today. Have you spoken to Adrian and, and given any advice, or <laughs> I don't know, have you spoken to each other throughout the season? Yeah, look, it's you know the, the ladies' team have done tremendous this season, and hopefully they can get the three points tomorrow. And it's important that um, the fans come out and support them tomorrow. Um, you know, it'd be great to see 10,000 people here supporting the, the W League team and hopefully they can get across the line and make the finals. And an update on the Spanish import. I won't mention his name, but he's yeah, he look, arrived. He, yeah, he's arrived. Um, we expect him to be out of quarantine uh, middle of next week. Um, hopefully he'll join training by the end of next week. And, you know, with a bit of luck, he might be available um, for the Sydney game. Too easy. Just with uh, Stefan Mulk's form, how impressed have you been um, at you know, being a midfielder and scoring for midfield? Yeah, look, Stefan is, you know, he's a, a great box-to-box -box player and, you know, you can see now that he's, he's getting those match games and more conditioning under his belt because he had an interrupted pre-season and then um, he had a little, he's had a few little knocks in the earlier games, so now he's getting full fitness and you can see when he's got that full fitness, he gets in the box and he gets in there late and scores goals. How, how impressed were you with that performance last week and you're really hoping he can kind of build on that now? Yeah, that's a challenge um, that we set Cassini every week. Um, you, you know, he showed last week how dangerous he can be, um, and, but we need to have him more consistent. We need him to turn up and, and, and show that every, every week and not just every once and every now and then. So um, that's his challenge and we put that down to him that he needs to work and, and show what he did last week. Carl, sorry, 
how well how's he been this week at the, on the training track? I saw some video of him at training, laughing. You said off having a, a great time. He looked pretty somber in the press conference. Has it had much effect on him? Um, look, uh, Cassini is a very very strong character, um, a very positive character, and has a lot of belief in himself. Um, yeah, it might have taken a little bit of shine off of his um, off his goal and, and the performance that he had. But um, you know, by the time we got back to training, he was pretty switched on and looking forward to to this week.